during OPT. In this next section, I will give instructions on traveling during OPT, what information needs to be reported to ISSO, and your options following OPT. While your OPT application is pending, F1 students are able to travel outside the country, but are told to travel with caution. If you receive a request for evidence while you are away, you will need to respond to the request in a timely fashion. If your EAD is processed and delivered to a U.S. address while you are out of the United States, you must have that EAD mailed to you and have it with you when you re-enter the United States. It is very important to be flexible with your travel plans when you are traveling while OPT is pending. You are allowed to travel outside the United States while on OPT. You will be expected to show your EAD when you re-enter the United States. As stated in the current slide, if you exceed the limits on unemployment while outside the United States, you will not be eligible to re-enter the United States in F1 status. When you travel, you will need the following documents. A passport that is valid six months following the date of U.S. re-entry, a valid F-1 visa, a travel signature from the past six months that will be valid when you re-enter, your EAD or I-797 receipt notice if the EAD is still pending, and a job offer letter or letter from your current employer. After you receive your EAD, it is required that you update ISSO with your employer information, email address, phone number, and living address. An email will be sent to you from ISSO to remind you of this requirement. You'll need to update this information in SciStart and Access Plus immediately. If you do not update ISSO about your employment status, your F1 status will be automatically terminated after 90 days from the start date on your EAD. Your CVS record will need to accurately reflect your current situation. Please contact ISSO immediately if you will begin studying at a new degree level, if you have been approved for a change of status, or if you plan to leave the United States permanently while OPT is pending or approved. There are various options available to you following OPT. You are given a 60-day grace period following the end date on your EAD. During the 60-day grace period, you can choose to leave the United States, change your immigration status, change your level of study at ISU, or transfer to a new university. If you have accumulated 90 days of unemployment, you do not get a 60-day grace period and will need to take action before you reach the 90th day. This is the end of the OPT workshop. If you have any questions about OPT, please make an appointment with an international student advisor or email isso at iastate.edu for more information. Hope you have a great semester.